We often come across startling facts about human beings, like somebody who is eight and a half feet tall, have lived 122 years, married 29 times, or even returned to normal life after 27 years of coma. Today, I would share with you similar astounding facts about the animal world. So, hang on. Hi, I am Basak from Savana Safari. That's S-A-V-A-N-A -A Safari. As a wildlife enthusiast, I speak and write on the wonders of Mother Nature. And I specifically undertake customized adventure tours to... We all know that giraffes are herbivorous. That is, they eat only leaves and fruits. The tallest mammal of the world is always seen reaching out to fresh green leaves and fruits of acacia and apricot trees in the jungles and savanna of Africa. But do you know that sometimes these magnificent animals cease to be herbivorous? Yes, there are occasions when a giraffe ceases to be herbivorous. This change in behavior is prompted by its sudden physiological necessity. In order to maintain its large skeleton of long bony legs and neck, the giraffe needs a lot of calcium and phosphorus. Sometimes, the giraffe's natural vegetarian diet fails to provide this. On such occasions, the giraffe starts consuming the bones that it comes across while grazing. This phenomena is called osteophagy. Fortunately, the African jungle and savanna provides the giraffe with a perpetual supply of bones. We all have heard stories of dinosaurs. We have also seen them in the famous movie Jurassic Park. But have you ever seen them in real life? How do you feel if I tell you that though you have not seen a dinosaur which died millions of years ago, you have definitely seen his contemporary and his close relative in a zoo? Yes, I am talking of the crocodile. The crocodile family and the dinosaur family are closely related and both appeared 250 million years ago. Whereas the dinosaur perished millions of years ago due to change in the environment, its close cousin, the crocodile, survived. Over the years, the croc have shrunk in size from what it was millions of years ago. But not only has it survived, but it has spread across the world. We all have seen the beautiful, small, but vividly cover a colored lovebird in a zoo or at homes. Their orange face and head, dark red, hooked beak and green body make them super attractive and they are an inseparable part of any manager. Have you ever wondered why instead of having a specific name they are called lovebird? The reason is that lovebirds love their partner so much and they are so loyal to each other that unlike most birds, they practice monogamy. That is, they do not change their partners in their lifetime. As an embodiment of love, they not only do they have a single partner, but they also express extreme distress if their partner dies and never mates thereafter. Guess we humans have a lot to learn from the lovebirds. Many of us non-vegetarians enjoy fish both freshwater and marine. While Drahu is freshwater, Pomfret is a sea fish. They all arrive at our home dead because fish, as we all know, are essentially aquatic and die when taken out of water. In stark contrast, lungfish of Africa spends large part of the year and sometimes years on land. In keeping with its name, the lungfish have a highly evolved respiratory system that can take oxygen straight from the air, just like you and me. During dry season, the lungfish 
burrows itself deep into the mud, forms a protective cocoon around it and continues to breathe it through its mouth. Likewise, it stays alive in land for three to four years continuously and starts living like a normal fish. Once again, the rain returns. When is the last time you picked up and carried your kid to school? How much weight can you lift? An average human being can lift 15% of his body weight. You may be shocked to know that one of your not so distant cousin can lift 10 times its own body weight. We are talking of the gorilla who carries 95 to 99% of human DNAs and whether you like it or not, he is your distant cousin. A gorilla can lift about 2000 kgs, which is 10 times its body weight of 200 kgs. So next time your wife asks you to pick up a bag in Dimart, don't say no. That's all for today. Hope you enjoy sharing these anecdotes with your friends over this weekend. See you next for Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and join me in this amazing journey where I bring you face to face with the cradle of civilization. Savannah Safari your tryst with adventure.